Molly! I made some first aid dressing from some native plants and fresh water I found around the forest. It's like we're on an island of some sort. I think the South Pacific. Here, hold this. We weren't followed and I checked for booby traps. Oh! And I found some fresh fruit. Do you want some? No thanks. You know you're quite resourceful. And if I might add, quite beautiful too. Ow! Hey, knock it off, will ya? I'm surprised you didn't bake a cake. Be quiet! I learned how to do all this at the Academy Survival School. A Starcom agent is all I can ever remember wanting to be. At the Academy, I finished top of my class, and that's where everyone talked about the famous Talon Hawk. Okay, okay, I get the picture. <laughs> Let that be an example to all those cowardly buddies who wish to leave. So, do you have a girlfriend? What? A girlfriend. Someone special? A squeeze? Booty call? A lover? No. It's so hard to have a relationship when you have a job like mine. Here today, gone to tomorrow, back to today. I heard recently some students from the academy broke the rules and crossed into the future red line and never came back. They say you've crossed into the red line so many times. I mean, how far have you been? What's it like? And another thing, why does everyone call you John? And what would you like me to do with this one, my lord? Chain him next to my pal there. Ugh, come on. Ugh. Talon will surely come for them. Come on. And when he does, <laughs> we'll be waiting. You know, you ask a lot of questions. How about you? What do you mean? Do you have a boyfriend? You know, somebody special? Well, there's this guy I kind of had a galaxian crush on, but he's too involved with his work to even know I exist. But, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing all kinds of guys. From the academy? I'm dating all the time. I mean, just the other day, I... So how far have you been? Pardon me, Colonel? To the future or the past, Miss Brown. Sorry. Well, this is my first mission. 
But I was a field agent for three years in 1798, assisting the general staff in the Kentucky Outpost. And and I'm rated as communications officer, second class with Rangy 4A. And I put the fan on the other Molly. side. It looks so much better Molly. that way. Guards, get over here. Now that you're done playing around with the spies, I need some information. Have you heard anything about Ocularis? I sent him back in time to kill the Tuckers, and I haven't heard from him since. And what about Tiburon and Cuervo? Why didn't they continue eliminating the others and keep an eye out for Talon and the girl? Well, we don't know about that, sir, but Talon, he has a way of disappearing. He's quite good at that, you know. They couldn't have gotten far. We found a trail of blood. One of them had to be wounded. We followed it to the Vitruvian forest, but you forbid us to go in there. Wounded, huh? My reports haven't shown any movement in that area. I have the entire forest wired with booby traps and cameras, so there's no chance in hell of losing him. And you tell me he just disappeared? He, he probably hunkered down for the night. It looks like it's gonna rain. We might as well continue to hunt tomorrow morning after the storm clears up. That'll be all. Okay. Look, you're doing a fine job, really. And I'm glad you're here with me now. Just don't do anything stupid like going off and getting lost or separated or anything. These guys aren't fucking around. Now get some sleep. You're gonna need your strength for in the morning. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I promise. Hey, Molly. Yes, sir. Thanks for helping me out, Molly. Talon? Yeah? You know what tomorrow will bring, don't you? Uh-huh. You made it this far, Talon. Rest well, my friend, for tomorrow brings many surprises. Better watch where you step. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. When I
Looks like the guest of honor has finally arrived. You know, you're a lot faster than I last recall. And you're a lot slower, old man. <laughs> Is that all you have to say to an old friend? Seems to me you got quite bitter in your old age. That, that's Rico. We have a warrant for his arrest and relocation. It was on the bulletin board last week. Hey, who's the broad? Same old Talon Hawk. You'll never change. Defying it till the end. Always ready to save the world. Don't you see? It's hopeless. One man and his ragtag army of misfits. Always ready to take on the world. Always trying to keep us from the spoils. Look. You brought us here to get on with it or quit wasting our time. So be it. As we speak, I have the best warriors from all over the world roaming this forest, looking for you and your little pal there. All of them bloodthirsty killers. We're not afraid of him. Or your warriors either. I say we kick his ass! Listen, and listen good. Your Starcom karate tricks won't do you any good against all these fighters. <laughs> it's hopeless. Well, hell. I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> what? I'm going to take this right foot, and I'm going to whop you on that side of your face. <laughs> and you know what? What? There's not a damn thing you're going to be able to do about it. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just quote a 1973 Billy Jack movie? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Hawkman. I saw that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. Let me kill him now, boss, while we have the chance. No, no. Let me kill the boss. No, sir. wait. You better start running, Chicken Hawk. Your time on this earth is wasting away. Come on. Remember, you have 15 minutes, then I am personally going to hunt you down like a dog and kill you with my bare hands! Go! Go get that son of a bitch! But don't kill him! Bring him to me alive! I want the pleasure of cutting his throat to be mine! Now go! But you said 15 minutes! Let's just start to run! Silence! Do what I told you to do! But make sure I am the one who gets the Hawkman at the end. Now go! <laughs> <laughs>